Good morning class 3. Today we have mathematics and you know what we had started division right and I hope you were practicing division at home isn't it you practiced all those division different types. Hmm? Now today's lesson is uh, word sums on division or some says what problems but don't think it as a problem it just sums okay last time we did direct sums okay direct division like this direct division like this now same division based on story okay based on stories you like stories in no? class 3 so you have to read the story first then find out okay then find out whether it is multiplication or division or addition or uh, subtraction okay so your division how will you find out it is division you have to divide how will you find out you have to see if you are distributing okay if you are distributing chalk duster sweets okay if you are distributing or giving to your friends last time we did that isn't it so if it is like that how many chalks how many sweets your one friend will get each friend means one isn't it so one will get if the question is like that that means it is division okay because in multiplication what you did one uh, price of one sweet is 10 rupees okay so cost of uh, sorry price of three sweets it will be bigger so you multiply it isn't it 3 into 10 30 but now just opposite in division just opposite one, price of one sweet will be 30 you, sorry price of three sweets will be 30 you have to find the price of one sweet okay just like that you are given 30 sweets and you have to distribute or give it to your 10 friends okay so each one of them will get how many sweets these type of questions tells you to divide the bigger number you'll divide by the smaller number okay like in basket like this types yeah these type of basket if you have uh, in one basket you put five chalks in it okay five chalks and you have 20 chalks remember you have total number of chalks 20 now you have to put in one basket you have to put 10 chalks uh, how many I said that time <laughs> we have uh, let's change the question okay not chalk uh, 30 sweets okay and 5 5 sweets you have to put in small small ba baskets okay in one basket you put 5 sweets okay in another one also 5 sweets you have 30 like that that's 30 sweets to put 5 5 sweets in one each each basket each basket how many baskets will be needed okay so one remember one basket I showed you just now you put 5 sweets in it then another basket you'll bring 5 you'll be put like that how many baskets are needed to put that 30 sweets okay in that case also what you'll do you'll divide 30 by 5 5 6 are 30 so 6 baskets you need okay this type of questions or the price ones just now I said big number will be given price of 6 uh, pins okay will be uh, 60 so one price of one pen you have to find out like this types okay it is division so just now uh, we uh, in second one it is about distributing okay and that I'll come I'll tell you afterwards first we'll do this one there are 35 people going on a picnic okay you like picnic na? so there are 35 people a uh, whole family and maybe the neighbors isn't it or you also think about that picnic you are going okay and 35 people are there all are going for a picnic maybe really really down or maybe Durbindara okay or maybe Darjeeling 
so they are going there 35 people now to go there you need cars isn't it now in one car only five people will fit only five people will fit so how many cars you need isn't it you are you are how many in number 35 and in one car only five will fit so how many cars are needed now you have to do calculation isn't it now after this sum you will be able to find out when you are going in picnic um, uh, uh, you can tell your parents i'll do the sum i'll find out i'll do the calculation i'll find out how many cars needed huh? avik avik can do that isn't it and your five people can fit in one car so how many cars needed and i told you this types are what division okay so big number you have to divide by small number and you will get the number of cars needed how many cars you need okay so now the statement now in word sums what because it's a story you have to write the statement okay this statements find out 35 total number of people isn't it you have learned in uh, multiplication also if 35 people that means it is you can count people so number number of people is how many uh, 35 the total number of people going on a picnic 35 i wrote from this story only from this only okay then who's this five people who can, five people who can go in one car okay so number of people rode in rode in each car means one car in one car okay five then what is the question how many cars are needed so number of cars needed okay so you will divide bigger number by smaller number and you know the division i don't have to tell you also isn't it by now you can do any type of division isn't it but those who are practicing at home they can only do it so five zero is zero because three cannot be divided then three minus zero is three then you'll bring five out here five sevens are 35 so seven cars are needed for the people 35 people to fit in seven cars okay it will fit perfectly and no other people will be left all will be fit in all will fit in seven cars okay like that now next question is mr sharma has 56 pens he wants to distribute them equally among three children how many pens will each child get same thing distribution giving all this is division okay how many one child one student okay one boy gets that is division so find out the big number which one is the big number 56 isn't it what is this 56 pens number of pens isn't it so number of pens mr sharma has this man has 56 pens so you have to write it this way number of pens mr sharma has equal to 56 in mathematics this one is very important equal to sign okay it is equal to 56 don't write is are these are for english subject okay you have to write in mathematics these equal to sign then in second line the small number you have to describe isn't it small number is three so what is three three is children so number of children is three this man mr sharma has 56 pence now he, he is going to distribute give to three children okay and they are waiting to take that pen isn't it so number of children is three now what is the question how many pens will each child get one child will get how many it's a division isn't it so number of pens each child will get or instead of each you can write one also each means one only one child will get okay so division you have to show it 56 divided by 3 there is no space so i wrote it here but it has to be down okay here and answer you can write it and this one down it should be okay like that 
so 56 divide always division you have to show in the center addition subtraction multiplication division you have to show it in the center not in the rough column okay because this is the main question if you are uh, doing division but you have to add or subtract that small things you can do in rough column but this is the main question so you have to show the division okay three ones are three because five uh, this is five five can be divided because it is bigger than three isn't it last time i had told you so uh, three is stable you have to say till you reach the uh, five or less than five okay so three ones are three three two is six six is more than five so you cannot write so three ones are three five minus three is two you will bring this six down arrow okay show that arrow straight here then 6 then it became 26 group I had taught, taught you about uh, then 26 now together you have to divide 26 3 8s are 24 3 9s are 27 27 is bigger so I didn't write 7 okay a eh, sorry 3 9s are 27 so 9 I didn't write so 3 8s are 24 6 minus 4 is 2 okay so 18 each child will get number of pens each child will get is 18 18 18 18 three times okay but there is a little bit twist in the question that is uh, how many pens oh, oh so sorry I didn't copy the last question how many pens will be left how how many pens will be left i forgot to copy this question it is in page number 110 only i am doing exercise 5h i have written exercise 5h okay so you can see the question from there this is number seven so the last question is also there first question you answered now next question is how many pens will be left where remainder isn't it left means remainder so here two is left so after distributing the pens two is still in in his hand in uh, uh, Mr. Sharma has two pens left after giving three students 18, 18, 18 pencils, pens, two is still with him. Okay, this is left. So, number of pens left is two. Like this, you have to do the word sums. Okay, so I'll, I'll give you tomorrow, I'll send you some questions, word sums. Please do it and remember copy the question then start the this one statement okay you can directly copy from here also but this one 35 people means number of people you can count isn't it so like that please do it in your copy and nicely one box or square should have how many digits only one digit remember this three in one box five in another box like that okay nicely you have to do this what sums okay thank you